So we have a stage fright in our way, but this word authentic, what am I supposed to do with that word authentic? Just to be authentic. Does that mean like I don't have to comb my hair? What's the deal? So being authentic is, I think it's really about presenting yourself uh, the way that you want your audience to connect with you, right? Like obviously you take care of yourself, comb your hair, brush your teeth, do the things <laughs> so that you personally look good. But it doesn't mean that you have to be out there buying thousands of dollars worth of equipment and gear. You Over time, you might decide to make investments because that's going to allow you to up your kind of overall quality. But that that's a, a decision that needs to come in time. First thing I would say to anyone is go out and, and prove this out. Go make a quick video, but show them your audience you know, talk to them in a way that you want them to hear your message. Tell them the things that you want them to know about, or you think that, you know, help them solve the pain points. At TechSmith, we're a, a smaller software company. We're all about helping our customers. And we do that in so many different ways. We, you know, everything from tutorials about our software to webinars that teach them and they can ask questions to doing all these things that involve video, because we know that First of all, we, we can present an authentic voice. Oftentimes we don't even use, you know, we don't hire voiceover talent. Like it might be me or someone else in our team that is actually doing the voiceover or, or being on camera. But also then we can, we can take that and really be with someone without being with them, right? Like it's like looking over my shoulder as I walk you through, you know, the three steps to do X, Y, and Z with, with one of our products. So I think there's this authenticity of, you know, you don't have to you don't have to spend a lot of money you don't have to hire a lot of actors and talent to do these things just be you and if you've got some quirk of personality that you think isn't going to offend anybody you don't want to offend them but you know it's going to come across and you know people see who you are that's great you know i'm from the midwest from michigan and we are typically known as they call it midwest nice and so that's one of the things we lean into is we're just nice people, <laughs> typically. Uh, and we just try to, to say, hey, like, okay, how can I help you? What can I do? And and sometimes I think some people probably say we're too nice, but you know, that's who we are and that's part of our culture. And we try to let that shine through. Hey, thanks for watching these golden nuggets. And as a reward, I got another big fat golden nugget just for you. I wrote this book for you to help you get your act together online so you can grow your business better. You're searching, you want to learn. This is a great book. Grab the book, grow your business. Amazing, right? <laughs>